All right, we are back with some more 2K23 My Rise. Ladies and gents, let's try to finish with this episode. Because it's that time. Time for me to tell you about the Elimination Chamber preview match. What's the plan? Before the weekend's Elimination Chamber premium live event, Paper we're deal. holding a preview match on SmackDown. A six-woman tag. You, Zia Lee, and Lacey Evans versus Carmella, Bailey, and Dewdrop. Fine by me. Oh, that's right. Lacey Evans somehow pinned me because Dewdrop got involved. The legacy. Oh, is this about to be the end? We're not going to get a chance to compete at Mania? No rumble? It's Piper Niven. Dewdrop is here and ready for a fight. Piper Niven. This wrestler grew up in the business, and now she's growing up before our very eyes. And from Wichita, Kansas. Lacey Evans is the last minute scrap tonight, so this Elimination Chamber preview what? is now officially a two versus three handicap match. No details on Lacey Evans' absence, but it's something not like her to no show. Yeah, definitely a head scratcher. But these five superstars will have oh, to Ava must have to took her out. Distraction and focus on the business at hand. What a chancery. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. was absolutely worthy of both Ava's halves gonna get in hand. and then she's gonna turn on us. Single leg drop kick. Kick lands. Come on. Zaya escapes danger. Inferno DDT. Lights out. Damn it. I dropped toe base first. Comes in off the tag. It's the drop. Damn! Running swan time. Big punch finds its mark. Lands the elbow. So she tags in. And goes down with the sling blade. Tremendous amount of cardio and strength. And a Get out of my ring. Look at these kicks out. On the head. And Bailey's having trouble managing his onslaught. Bailey's game plan isn't working how she wanted. Right out of ringside and back to the mat. No. Oh, oh, oh. She's enduring some damage. Uh oh. DBT. There's a wheelbarrow into the DBT. Kick, 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 face. kick. Kicked off with a big one. Spanish fly. Shit. He turns it right around. Oh, 
him here. Yeah, Wait. He's taking no. All the restraints. Forever. Bailey showing no answer for the attack. Bailey's being caught at every pass. And this is Count it. Done. We just pinned the champ. Ava's gonna enter the chamber and we're gonna lose to Ava. Because look, they don't have like a little picture to show us, hey, this is the next chapter. No, this is the end. Second lady room. Uh oh. I gotta admit, I'm a little spooked by the whole Lacey Evans thing. I, I know we haven't seen eye to eye lately, but that's weird, right? I meant what I said before. Just because we disagree sometimes doesn't mean that you can't still come to me for advice or guidance. And yeah, very weird. Seems pointed. I would have even pointed Ava. a finger at my client given how ruthless she is. But I was with Dewdrop right before the match. Couldn't have been her. I get taking no prisoners in the ring. But pushing a lighting rig on someone is a whole other level. Well, you know my guess. What's your guess? Seriously? Hmm. Is there anyone who would benefit from an open spot in the match? Maybe someone who benefited in the past when a lighting rig fell on your tag team partner before the Money in the Bank match? Someone who's shown she's prone to extreme actions? Like hitting my client with a car? Don't be dumb about this. Maybe you're right. Ava does have something yeah. to gain if she could maneuver her way into the match. I still respect the choice you made the night of your last tag team championship match. But that doesn't mean I've changed my opinion. That girl is just waiting to take advantage of you. More than she's done already. But we'll see soon enough how it plays out for Ava when WWE announces the final entrant. It's gonna be Ava. And we're gonna lose. Because Ava's gonna win and turn on us. We should have turned on her. <laughs> It's Ava. Because it wouldn't be Liv. Because Liv got hurt. It wouldn't be... Who wouldn't it be? Lacey had the shit falling on her. She wouldn't have done it herself. Bianca's a baby face. The only person that has something to gain from it is Ava. So it's Ava. Watch, I'm smart about this. Riddle, Lynch, Tum. Can't say we've ever had anything like a dark pod before. And I've seen a lot of- Actually, you do see a lot around here, Tom. Any chance you know who's inside that dark pod? Why would you think I know that? I don't think you know, Tom. I'm just asking. Nope. Huh. Never knew you to be so short. You usually have a lot to say. <sighs> Good luck out there tonight, LJ. Hey, Riddle. 
Dude, did you hear about this hashtag dark pod thing for the women's elimination chamber? There's gonna be like a whole human in one of the chamber pods, but it'll be dark, so we won't know who it is until it opens. Yeah, I... It's wild. Um... Yeah, I won't tell if you are. I'm not in the dark pod, Riddle. Oh, okay. So I gotta ask, am I in the dark pod? He's high. <laughs> you? I won't tell if I am. I don't think so, Riddle. Oh, okay. It, he's high. He, he ain't here. Riddle's not here. He just, Riddle's not home. It's, hey, Beck, you don't look like you're ready to compete. I can't believe that more people aren't guessing that I'd be in the dark pod. Are you in the dark pod? No, but I should be. I'm the best thing this women's division has got right now. I shouldn't be left out of this nah. historic match. If they give me an opportunity to hey, kick Ava in the face, in I'm the taking pod, it now. I'm actually going to take it. Goat head. Rude. Because I cannot pass this opportunity up. Go to the chamber. Yes. I know it's Ava. We Let's face it. It has to be. Who else is there? Josie Jane? Fanny? I mean, all signs point to Ava. SmackDown Women's Championship is on the line here. Oh, I have to start it? The anticipated Elimination Chamber matches of all time. Thanks to the all-time talents vying for the... Wait, aren't we in Saudi? Why are we... Any guesses on who's in there, Corey? If I were competing, I'd be terrified to see Ava Moreno walk out of that dark pot. Especially in light of what she just did to Lacey Evans. Allegedly. Crack in the head. Nah, Corey knows. Impressive reversal there. Yeah. Yeah. Kick the tempo up a notch. Precise aiming on that basement drop kick. Delivers the cross body. Nice one. Do drop. It is not going to be the dark line entry. It is Carmella. We I'm just Shit! How dare you? Count to 400. Damn it. Oh wait, Selena Del Sol. It's Bailey. Oh, Zia Lee's already gone. Born forever. To Carmella. What? She kicked out. Huh? Damn it. 
deep there, but I don't know if she'll be able to do it again. Uh-oh. Nope. Oh, she got out of there. Good sequence. Breaks the close down. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. I can't believe it. The people kick down Rollins. Ref, I'm gonna eliminate the champ. Uh -oh. a great amount of toughness. It's not easy to kick out of that. And Carmella really thought she had her there. Really was expecting a count of three. Boom, what impact. A quick reversal by Bailey. DDT. Shoulder tackle. Shoulder's down. This could be the one that does it for her. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Getting combo to death. Owie. Now, Carmella, you know better. You don't do that. Exactly. Leverage pin. The champion. Damn it. Uh oh. That's no good. Bailey. Savor me. Oh, I'm rescue. No, you don't. Turn around. Spanish fly. To get do drop out. The champion. Damn it. By the skin of their teeth. These two showing how well scouted they each are. She sent to the outside. No, it's mine. Dewdrop is mine. Born forever. What the fuck? No! <laughs> That's my elimination! How dare 
dare you! To get the champ out of there, Bailey. You're next now. You're next. What? No, you don't. Get out of here. Getting everyone. Got her. It's Ava. It's Ava. Since it was announced, everyone's on the edge of their seats to find out who's inside. The wait is almost over because the mystery entrant into the elimination chamber is about to be revealed. What? Justine, WWE legend and Hall of Famer Justine is the mystery entrant into the elimination chamber match. One of these two women will be the next SmackDown Women's Champion. But how? We haven't seen Justine in the ring for over a decade since her career-ending injury. She certainly doesn't look injured to me, Corey. And she also doesn't look like she minds that the woman standing in the way of winning a championship is her niece. You're joking. <laughs> what? No! Immediately on the offensive. No. Setting her up. And down. Looks as if her niece was completely caught off guard by this. No She's shit! No! Don't make me lose! Second, we've seen this before, but not in a very long time. It's vintage Justine here tonight. Damn it! No! This is bullshit! There were so many names thrown around about who was going to be in the Kick her in the head. Justine wasn't even on the list. Her niece must be shocked. I think the entire WWE universe is shocked. I'm having flashbacks to 2002. Simply unbelievable that we are witnessing this. I'm right pissed. Now. We're going straight to Mania now. I'm not playing no games. Hell nah. Hell nah. No, I ain't having this shit. Well, I'm not. That was the biggest piece of horse shit of all time. The biggest. Then. Okay, I'm sorry. Ava, I... Dead. You better... Bianca, I'm talking to you first. Can't with Molly right now. Well, that was one of the wildest things I've ever seen in WWE. You're telling me. I know she's your family, but I can't get over how these legends come in and try to make everything about them. Why can't the older generation stand aside and let us have our shine? They already had their time. Justine Agreed. makes everything about her. But I don't care what kind of a miraculous recovery she may have had. Justine should have let me have my moment, right? How can these WWE legends expect WWE to grow and move forward if they stay stuck in the past? I'm not the only one in the locker room who feels this way. If you need help with your aunt, you've got backup. I mean, these legends think they're hot, but put them up against a faction of the top and upcoming current superstars and we shut them up real fast. We need to force them to embrace the future. Exactly. Embrace the future. Huh. You might have something there. You think? You think? I'm pissed at that. That was the biggest thing of horseshit. 
Did you know? That Justine was in the dark pod? No. They kept that secret under wraps, even from me. But I could have told you not to trust her, even though it would have been hard to convince you of that. I know she's family, but it also tracks given everything she's told me I need to do to get ahead. I just didn't think I would be on the receiving end. I knew her tricks when we were partners, and I never thought I'd be on the receiving end either until I caught wind of her trying to turn on me. Though there is an upside to having lived through that experience. What's I that? can help you now. Listen, uh, just help no me, one please. knows your aunt like I do. I remember what she was like when she was on the main roster. What got under her skin, her toughest opponents, her regrets, her weaknesses. If you're on a collision course with her now, and you seem to be, you'll want me by your side to give you the best chance to beat her and win the championship that should have been yours. The best way to take down your aunt is to make her confront the past. Confront the past. Interesting idea. No, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. She's facing Molly, and I'm going to attack her. Our brand new SmackDown Women's Champion is here to address the WWE Universe after her shocking return and victory at Elimination Chamber. So, I have a little bit of an announcement to make. I've been medically cleared! Surprise! No, no one you know, wants I that. I thought I had closed the books on my WWE career. But being around here lately reignited a light I thought had gone out. As I got involved, Coming back into WWE, first with my podcast, and then as a manager, I started to wonder. Edge, Lita got second acts. Why not Justine? Because you're a video the game more character. I gave, the more I realized, you need me. No one knows who you are. And you're about to you die. You need me because you deserve to see me finally reap the rewards of the path I trailblazed. To fulfill the promises that I wasn't able to keep when my career got cut short. To what the hell? <laughs> well, I was wondering when you would show up. Figured you would, given how much you like to ride my coattails. What are you talking about? Why didn't you tell me you were cleared? And why haven't you called me back? Would you have paid attention if I had? After the way you laughed at me when I suggested we team up for the Money in the Bank tag team match? After you never thought to ask me how I was doing whenever I mentioned my doctor's appointments? I'm beginning to think I should have set up those lighting rigs to fall over on you instead. You didn't. Why wouldn't I? Because I'm an old, washed up, past her prime legend? Yes. Girlie, you best not insult me, because I taught you everything you know. LJ. Too bad you don't have the goods to back it up. I do. I was proud when you decided to wear your own gear for your debut and make your own mark. But it was probably then that I started to realize you don't have what it takes to push our family name forward in this business that I'd have to do that myself. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, LJ? You followed me around like a shadow your entire life and you don't understand. When you decided not to use the chair in your main event match with Ava, did you think you could get ahead by following the rules? <laughs> Cute. That's not how it works. No, but it gets me never over. never have made that mistake. Because I've always known exactly what I want. What I needed to do. In a world that was five times as hard and seven times as brutal for me. I tried to push you. But you wouldn't even take advice from me. A WWE legend. Decided to stay loyal and help your leech of a friend Ava instead. 
You know the difference between you and me, LJ? I've never been content walking in someone else's path. And I never had the luxury. I've always had to make my own. My head is spinning here. Justine's not only back, but she's put a target on her niece. Justine's certainly drawing a line in the sand here tonight. How do you even respond to a betrayal like that? From a member of your own family? I think we're about to find out. And I have a feeling that whatever she has to say, it could have some big ramifications for the WWE Universe. Oh, can I choose? One sec. Well, team of Bianca. Shut up, Justine. What did you say to me? Shut up. It's always the same with you. I had it so hard. Well, I wish it was, it was an option so for both. So difficult. Boo hoo. I'm not here to revisit what happened 20 years ago. This is the problem with all you legends. So proud to rest on your laurels. You spend so much time bringing up your grievances and you never think to put any of that energy into bringing up the superstars of tomorrow. Hell, maybe even making it better for them. Now you told me how it felt to get your matches cut short back in 2003. Move on! Imagine what it feels like now to get your matches cut whenever some old legend shows up and wants to reminisce about the past. <laughs> A past that I'm sure is better in memory than it was in reality. You got your win at Elimination Chamber, relying on the element of surprise. Hooray! Congrats! So proud. You want to really settle this? Face me for real. You and me for the SmackDown Women's Championship at WrestleMania. She says no. She's a coward. When the dust is settled, we'll see who has the title and who the WWE Universe really respects. Some has been who can't move on, or the real future of WWE. Did we just see a WrestleMania match being made? No, because it wasn't a, it wasn't confirmed by an authority figure. Oh, I guess it is made. That powerful from this superstar. I agree, Corey, and she didn't just pick a fight with Justine. Intentionally or not, she picked a fight with all the WWE legends. If that's the case, at least the WWE Universe gets to see that fight here today in the present. Oh, calm down, Saxton. What? I'm excited. Smack to the future. Sorry, Molly, but I gotta do this. <laughs> The futuristic way. We got guns. <laughs> I'm kidding. What we do have is town. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> With the <laughs> What do I got here? Ariel. Bianca and Liv. It's about time someone called out a WWE legend like that. Didn't really think it would be you standing up to your aunt, though. I meant what I said out there. And I meant what I said earlier. Liv feels the same way about these old timers still in our spotlight. The WWE Universe wants to watch us, not them. Well, then maybe it's time to put our words into action and really give them something to watch. All right.
Okay. Alright, time for these legends to run! <laughs> We're in the endgame now. You know what, this is going to be the last part. This is probably going to be the last part. We're going to Mania. My Aunt Justine had a lot of time to talk last week. Good for her. Now, it's my turn. But I'm not just going to talk. I made no secret last week how I feel about WWE Legends. It's time to move on from the past. We're the ones going out in the ring each and every week, putting it all on the line in each and every match. Whether it's at a premium live event, on SmackDown, or a house show, we're the ones doing the work. And we think it's only fair. Oh, that damn. it should be our faces up there, not theirs. What are they going to do? She's holding the can of spray paint. What do you think, Saxton? They're defacing WWE property. And sending a message to the WWE legends. It's controversial, but effective. I guess. They just put two lines to the legends. Molly ah, and Lena, Lena are here on Molly, how dare you? Here, and I don't think they took that message too kindly. Lift Morgan into the side of the truck. And Lena with a twist of fate out of the concrete. Pretty big talk when it comes to the legends on this truck. But you've got no chance when it comes to taking on the real thing. Straight to her niece's Boy. face. Looks like Justine and the other legends had a message of their own tonight. And a strong one at that. They're not ready to step aside. Now, here's the thing. If they're going to show up, at least make it interesting and wrestle on weekly TV. That's the only, like, that's the reason we still care about Edge. The literal reason is because he's willing to wrestle on TV. Not just on premium live ones. <laughs> Sorry, Trish. Uh, consequences in battle. I mean, you just so happen to be a legend, and I had to make a point. Because these legends need to go away. Because they're not willing to wrestle. I get Edge doesn't work the house show circuit because, well, he's in his 40s. But still... Because he can't. Also, but he'll Look work on TV. What the f Bianca? The following contest is skipped. Team the Superstar. The Hall of Famer and one of the Trailblazers in the women's division. Stay retired. And there are first. And then Lita. Time to get extreme. And from Sister, North Carolina. She showed up in an indie Matt show. She's been in the attack earlier tonight to have today's brightest show. Yeah, tagging Liv Morgan. Legends Lita and Holly Holly. What a matchup, and what a responsibility All to right, represent Liz, get in. Who your king. Any one of these women could be the difference tonight. Damn it, Holly, Holly, it's Liz. Drop kick. Beautiful. Maybe move out the way, Molly. Drop kick. Learn. Running close. Drop kick! 
I mean, come on, Molly. Stop being stupid. Looking bad for her here. A lot of energy left. Fresh target attack. She's in about as good a position as you can hope to be still. <laughs> One more and then it should be good. Yeah, Holly needs to plot a way to get back into this. Huge splash in the corner. Drop kick to the face. Oh no, are we going to get screwed? You can hear that strut from the cheap seats. Wait, what's Justine doing? She's heading towards Bianca. Bianca's not waiting to find out. She's putting the WWE legend in her place. Not if the official has anything to say about it. What? Bianca's out of here. What about Justine? Oh, Bianca was just defending herself. Oh, yeah. They're both getting ejected. The referee probably saw what happened. Doesn't want the ring to end up spray painted. This match is back on. What a drunk kid. Holly's hopes are waning here. I'm Look winning. at Liv go. So determined. Oh, no, you don't. Fuck. And here we go. Mark. What a forearm! Oh, what do they have planned here? Look at that hand! Lining drop up with a boom basement drop kick. Knees up, got the knees up at the last second. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. Yet fucked. Quick reflexes is so important in a match like this. The fatigue is setting in for her. And she's not done yet. So resilient. Oh, Holly's hopes are waning here. Holly, oh, yeah. Oh, and we can't overlook how devastating that DDT was. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. She stays on the top turnbuckle. Come on, on Lita. As it's part of town for these two competitors. This could go south in a hurry. Here we go. Superplex. And you have to thank the yeah, go tag out. Going to linger. Come on. Go, go tag out to Molly. I've been waiting it. for this for eons. Oh, wait, oh there's a shot. Finds it. Leaping into the wheelbarrow. Up and Die. Die. Get your ass up. No remorse. Spanish fly. Oh shit, she reversed. Oh, just turn that around. Oh man, by the hair. I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being. No way. Okay. Yourself, Molly. Tilt the wall, head scissors. Basement. Drop kick to the side of the skull. Boom! There's a wheelbarrow. Boom! DDT! She's trying to fight back, but it doesn't look good. Get off my apron. Show. Oh, could this be it? Born forever. Oh, that could be curtains for Molly. The cover. It's over. And a major victory in her career tonight. Here are your winners. Danielle. Alright, 
next segment before we head to wrestling mania. Three v three trios match. I wish I had Abram. No one cares. Superstars and legends have been mixing it up for weeks, and tonight they'll all get their chance to have the last word. Whatever happens, it won't be the last word for Justine and her increasingly confident niece, with WrestleMania getting closer and closer. Leaping into the wheelbarrow. There's the tag. Shit. Joking. You can teach an old dog new tricks, but sometimes you don't need to. The old tricks work just No! Perfectly choreographed deception from the WWE legends and the referee. You're fucking kidding me! I hate losing like that. I hate when I lose and I cut to these bullshit. We're never shy about cheating to win. And that's clearly not changed. It certainly paid off here tonight. I think what you meant to say was smartly using every resource at their disposal to win. Oh, experience pays off. That's what we saw tonight. Can you say so? Shut up, Corey Greaves. Let's just get to Mania and beat Justine's ass. Playing fair and trying to just beat them obviously isn't working. Though I guess starting with that production truck stunt wasn't really fair, if we're being honest. Whose side are you on? Sorry. Listen, 
At the end of the day, this is my fight. I appreciate everything you've done, but I've got to take on Justine alone. What do you have in mind? I've already got my match at WrestleMania, but winning there is not enough at this point. I'm gonna hit Justine where it hurts the most. Let's put her back on the shelf, brother. Of course, it's obvious to anyone with a brain that my niece's efforts to undermine me, to undermine my legacy, are really the attempts of a weak, scared little girl. I just want to talk. Seems that we have an unexpected guest today. You may know her from her recent humbling loss to me at Elimination Chamber. My niece. Or as she always asked to be called growing up, Little Justine. So, LJ, I've got to ask, how does it feel to be nurtured by the best in the business and still be such a letdown? You know, you were the best in the business, Aunt Justine. I'm sure you didn't make the trip here to tell me what I already know. But isn't that what you said you want? For someone to give you your due? See, after the initial shock of seeing you at Elimination Chamber, I've had some more time to think. And you're right. You were never given proper credit for what you did and what you accomplished. So you did join me to make my own point. What's that you said on SmackDown? About having to survive a world five times as hard and seven times as brutal? In the moment, I think I would have said you were making excuses. But now I know, you're exactly right. You did work harder to get less. You should have been the main event week after week when you were in WWE. Sure, they threw praise on your name after you retired, when yeah. management decided they needed to add another woman to the Hall of Fame, or now when they want to get a Legends ratings bump. Fans buy into that nostalgia, but forget what it was really like for you. How they treated you when you were on the roster. What do you know about it? You don't understand. But that's just it. I do understand. You've been teaching me since my first day in WWE. And you know what I finally really get? Everything that you've complained about, that you're mad at, for all that you blame management or other things beyond your control. It's always been me who's been your real target because I'll never know the limitations that you did. I will get to push myself in ways you never could, have opportunities that you never would have been given and see how far I can really go. And you? Justine, you're a legend. The best of her time. Maybe could have been the best of all time if you had a level playing field. But the fact that you'll never know when I will, that's what you'll never forgive me for. And that's what's going to allow me to replace your legacy with my own. Ooh. You ungrateful You're a selfish, self-centered, only thinks for herself. Because I'm the only one I could ever count on. Looks like we have something in common then, because I certainly couldn't count on you. You don't deserve your talent. It should have been me. But it's not you, Justine. It's not you. Oh, and this is where a brawl breaks out. It'll be me at WrestleMania. No, throw a punch. Uh, throw a punch, Daniel. Self defense. <laughs> Sure, you've got what's left. Enjoy it while it lasts. But me? <laughs> I'm just getting started. Did she change voice actors like halfway, like at the very end there?
<laughs> Damn. <laughs> we just went on that pe- podcast and just let it all out. Now at Mania, we're killing her. Her whole legacy dies because I said so. Seen a lot of people go out on the grandest stage of them all, but this feels different. Who are you rooting for, Tom? Ah, oh, LJ, don't ask me that. You know I love you both. I just want the two of you to sort this out. Tom, her friends threw my friends into the side of a truck. Nobody's perfect, LJ. Least of all your aunt. But she's a good person. Even when she was trying to get you to turn against your tag team partner, yes, people talk around here, she thought she was looking out for you. Well, now she's just looking out for herself. That may be. I'm just wondering if that's always going to be the case. I mean, I know you don't need her. Even from your debut, you were confident and strong, wearing your own gear, rocking your own moves. But seeing you someday both move past this and work together? We're to that last. would be something both the friend and the fan of me would like to see. We'll see, Tom. We'll see. Hey, Sean. <laughs> You're planning on stealing my title tonight? What? <laughs> Your title? Excuse me? Is the SmackDown Women's Championship yours? Calm down, kid. I'm not talking about a championship. I'm talking about my honorific title, Mr. WrestleMania. Wouldn't it be... You know what? Never mind. If you mean do I plan to have the match of the night, then yes. Justine won't know what hit her. That's what I like to hear. And you should obviously always be focused on winning your match. Especially tonight with everything that's on the line for you. But don't forget to have fun out there, too. I'll try. I'm not sure my aunt's betrayal has been particularly fun for me, though. I don't know, kids. Sometimes fun means being the daylight out of a once-trusted friend or family member. Yeah. <laughs> WWE superstars. We are just built different. Yeah, that makes Thanks. sense. Thanks. Yeah, that's... Good job, Sean. <laughs> Probably last one striking. WrestleMania. Can you believe it? Would it come off as entitled if I said that I can? I mean, I'm here and it's happening. Aw, LJ. Regardless of what you do, you'll always come off as entitled to me. Ava! Just kidding. But seriously, kick her ass out there. After everything she's put you through, you deserve it. Thanks, Ava. Thank you. Anyway, let's kill Justine. (laughs) Time. WrestleMania! Jason Briggs never even got a chance to make it a mania. He had to get his moment at SummerSlam. And he got two moments. He beat the daylights out of Gabriel, of Randy Orton, and then he beat the daylights out of Sami Zayn. Danielle Board's getting this shot at Mania. But, like, more thought went into this story. The following contest is scheduled for America edition. Here she is making her WrestleMania debut. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. I'm gonna kill Justine. Justine. 
Justine is back on the grandest stage of the night. Oh, she got her own. Time to win. Introducing the challenger from Wichita, Kansas. Oh. Danielle. Chapter in the history of the SmackDown Women's title. I'm gonna injure her. <laughs> Put her back on the shelf, brother. It doesn't get any bigger than the grandest stage of them all. And it doesn't get any more pounding than a battle between beloved relatives turned bitter rivals fighting for the SmackDown you Women's doing, Championship. Justine. The stakes couldn't be any higher, Michael. Not just for the two warriors in the ring, but for past and current generations of superstars watching to see who really holds the power in WWE. You said it, Saxon. The past, present, and future of WWE are all together. Right here on the ultimate stage in sports entertainment. Twisting body to the outside. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast. Planning on what to do next. Don't do this. Don't do it. Spine shattering impact. Crashing down like that, having the wind knocked out of you. Never a Shit. good time for that to happen. An agile escape. Sorry, just a move, man. Shit. Get out of my ring. No! Big impact! That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. My goodness! And then look at Jesus! And she's been brought to a disadvantage now. Yeah, she's on the bad end of every maneuver. Absolutely foolhardy decision made there. That could be very costly. Don't know if the risk was worth oh, I think I killed him. <laughs> All right, she's back in, ready to go. You're and right? surely she hears how high the referee's count has gotten at this point. Spanish is flying. Maybe she just doesn't care. Just these times. Born forever for a double. Victory is mine. And put it back on the. He knew it was not going to be an easy task to put the champion away, and that's being proven right now. More like the champions proving that sooner perish than lose their title. The heaviest artillery has been used, but it's not enough for the three. Shit. Uh oh, that's a good getaway. So can she capitalize? And now she's gained command of this one. She's taken time for the German the situation. Justine got out of dodge. Boom. Oh. Nah. And she fights Justine back. I am the counter. Caught your ass. With the DDT. Oh my god. One time treating the torso to yet another attack. Oh my god. Spanish fly. But we might be coming up on that soon. Born forever. Put her down. One more time. One more time. Two, bo two bo three born forevers in this match. It's over. And new. 
that she'd be standing tall for the SmackDown Women's Championship at WrestleMania? I'd have called it possible, but unlikely, Cole. What a match. And there's no question whose moment this is. Whatever and whoever may have defined this superstar in the past, she's now cemented her own legacy within WWE. We could be seeing this image at WrestleMania for years to come. Wait, what's happening? I'm not sure. Can Justine be trusted here? I don't believe it. It seems that even Justine's small heart grew three sizes today. If these two can get over the differences after the rivalry they had, that anyone can do it. Molly Holly. What the hell? The new champion was just ambushed from behind. And maybe the end of this rivalry, but this champion story in WWE is just getting started. What? Oh, the story's continuing? That wasn't the end? I thought that was the end. You tell me that wasn't the end. Oh shit! Her new Molly tried to make your victory moment all about her with her impromptu second match. I wonder why that happened. Exactly. I wonder too. Justine, you riled up a whole faction of WWE legends to have an issue with me. I'm surprised Lena didn't attack too. Sure, but things move pretty fast. Guy. Molly should have gotten over it by now. Let's do it. Corner, wasn't I? And I think you did some stirring of your own. Yeah, seeing as I already apologized for the whole betrayal thing, I might as well apologize for Molly too. Mea culpa. Wow. As the ruthless digressions audience is well aware, this is a rare occurrence. I'm very rarely in the wrong. Remarkable! Do you want an award or something? Actually, I might. I just figure you need one since I took the SmackDown Women's Championship off your hands. Shit! <laughs> shit, shit, shit! shit. Right into that one, didn't I? You're welcome. Moving along from your snark, with WrestleMania in the rear view, who do you see as your toughest competition moving forward? Well, I was planning on giving Ava a title opportunity, but I think she's got her eyes on the Raw Women's Championship. So as for my biggest competition, I don't know. Could be someone already in the locker room, or someone still making their way to WWE. There are more talented wrestlers getting opportunities to show... They said wrestlers! Yes! They said the team! They said the team! Still a long way to go, too, but... Yeah. The fight that the superstars of tomorrow bring. Spanish fly. Well, you heard it here first, folks. The champion is issuing an open challenge. Absolutely anyone who wants to take the championship off her hands. Justine, that's not what I said. It's over. I got the ball. Here's your winner, and still the SmackDown. Kind of yeah, just like the Jason Briggs one, there was two. Yeah, to wrestle two matches at Mania. The lasting legacy. Thanks for playing. And ladies and gentlemen, that was WWE 2K23 My Rise. I know. We're done. We are a hundred percent done. So, hope you guys enjoyed. We are done with WWE 2K23. I am happy. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Take care.